All right, approaching the vehicle. We're looking for the three L's, leaning, leaks, lights. First L for leaks, make sure we don't have any puddles underneath the truck. Then I wanna check for leaning. Why would the vehicle be leaning? Three reasons, flat tire, broken suspension, or an unevenly distributed load. Then I wanna go to the lights. Start out with the clearance lights up top, make sure that they're amber in color, not been broken or cracked, property managed, secure, clean and free of debris and moisture. I got my front headlights, bright lights and blinker lights. Make sure that they're not bent, broken or cracked, property managed, secure, clean and free of debris and moisture. Make sure my front license plate is visible. Open up the hood. Start on this side with my general hoses and wires. Make sure they have no abrasions, bulges, cuts, properly mounted and secured on both ends with no frayed wires, no visible leaks. My coolant reservoir, make sure it's not bent, broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured, no visible leaks. And fill the operating range. Well, how do we check it? Either look through the sight glass or if it's cool enough, check it from the top. You wanna to come down to my alternator, make sure it's not bent, broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured with no frayed wires. And note that it's belt driven. Then I have my water pump. Make sure it's not bent, broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured with no visible leaks and it's belt driven. So I'm gonna inspect the belt. Make sure the belt has no abrasions, bulges, cuts, properly mounted and secured, no more than three quarters of an inch of play when I push a pull on it. Then I'm gonna start over here with the fluids. Talk about the process for checking the oil. I wanna pull the dipstick, wipe it off, put it back in, and pull it back out and make sure it's in operating range. Then I'm gonna go to my windshield washer reservoir and make sure it's not leaking. Feel the operating range, not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. My power steering reservoir, make sure it isn't leaking. Not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured and feel the operating range. I can check it through the side glass and from the top. This hose takes me to my power steering pump. Make sure my power steering pump is not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. I wanna note that it is gear driven. Make sure it has no visible leaks. Then I'm gonna go to my steering linkage. Make sure it's not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured, no excessive play. Make sure that my U-bolts have no debris inside. Then I have my power steering gearbox. Make sure it's not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. Also note that it is gear driven, no visible leaks. Then I'm gonna go down to my pitman arm. Make sure my pitman arm is not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. My castle nut and cotter keys are not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. My drag link is not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. I have my upper and lower control arms. Make sure that they're not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secured. And then lastly, on my steering, I have my tie rod. Make sure it's not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secured. From the steering, I'm gonna go into suspension. I have my front and rear spring mounts. Make sure that they're not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secured. I have my leaf springs. Make sure they're not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secured, and they're not scissoring or broken. Check my U-bolts, make sure that they're not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. And lastly, for the suspension, I'm gonna check my shock absorber. Make sure it has no visible leaks and it's not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. On the inside of this hose, I have my air compressor. I wanna note that it's gear driven, make sure it has no audible leaks and make sure it's not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. Then I have my brake hose. Make sure it has no abrasions, bulges, cuts, properly mounted and secured with no audible leaks. My slacker, I mean my brake chamber and clamp. Make sure it has no audible leaks, not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. Then I have my slack adjuster and push rod. Make sure that they're not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured, no more than one inch of plate. On the inside, I'm gonna start with my brake linings or brake pads. Make sure that they're not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. Three things, have no fluid on them, no signs of heat stress, and not worn excessively thin, less than a quarter of an inch. Then I'm gonna come out to my brake drum. Two things, no fluid on it, no heat stress, not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. My inner rim, no illegal wells, not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. The sidewalls of my tire, make sure they have no abrasions, bulges, cuts, properly mounted and secured, no audible leaks. The top of my tire, make sure it's worn evenly with a minimum of four thirty seconds of an inch tread depth with no abrasions, bulges, cuts, properly mounted and secured, no audible leaks. Come out to my outer rim, make sure my outer rim has no illegal wells, no rust trails, not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. My lug nuts, make sure they're all tight. No metal shavings, no shiny threads. Not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. And they're not the origin of any rust trails. Then I have my hub sealing cap. Make sure it's not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. And it's filled the operating range. Well, how would I check it? I have a sight glass or either I could take the top off and check it, make sure it's an operating range. Then I have my valve stem and cap. Make sure it's not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured, no audible leaks. And this is where I use the tire pressure gauge to check and make sure my tires aired up properly. Side marker and blinker light. 
not been broken or cracked, properly mounted, secured, clean and free of debris and moisture. Mirror bracket, not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. Outer door handle, not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. Inner door handle, not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. Inner door, I mean hinges, not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. My weather stripping, no abrasions, bulges, cuts, properly mounted and secured. I have my grab bar. Make sure it's not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. Use three points of contact to enter and exit the vehicle. Then I have my gas tank. Make sure it has no visible leaks. Not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. Have my gas tank cap. Make sure it has a rubber seal that has no abrasions, bulges, cuts, properly mounted and secured. And it's equipped with a safety chain so you won't lose it. Then I have my stairs. Make sure that my stairs are not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. And clean and free of debris so I won't slip on it. My diesel exhaust fluid tank. Make sure it has no visible leaks. Not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. Then I'm gonna go to my truck bed. Make sure my truck bed is not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured, no holes. I also wanna note that my marker lights are not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured, no debris and no uh, moisture inside. Make sure that they're amber in front and red in the rear. I also wanna note that I have at least 50% DOT reflective tape. Then from the truck bed, I go to my truck frame. Make sure my frame is not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured, no illegal wells, and no bolts missing. Then I have my air tank. Make sure it has no audible leaks, not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. Then I'm going to go to my drive shaft. Make sure my drive shaft is not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured, and no debris inside the U-joint. From there, I'm going to go on to my suspension. I have my torsion bar. Make sure it's not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. I have my front and rear spring mounts. Make sure that they're not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secured. I have my leaf springs. Make sure that they're not scissoring, not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secured. Then I have U-bolts. Make sure my U-bolts are not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secured. I don't have any shock, shock absorbers back here. From there, I'm gonna go on to my brake. I'm gonna start back here. And as you can see, we got a brake chamber right there. Make sure the brake chamber and clamp has no audible leaks, not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secured. Then I have my brake hoses. Make sure it has no abrasions, bulges, cuts, properly mounted and secured with no audible leaks. Slack adjuster and push rods on the back side of it. Make sure it's not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secured, no more than one inch of play. Then I'm going to come inside and check my brake linings. My brake linings, I'm checking for three things. Make sure that they have no fluid on them no heat stress, and not worn dangerously thin, less than a quarter of an inch. Then my brake drum, two things, no heat stress, no fluid on it, not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. My inner rim, no illegal wells, not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. Then I go to the side walls of my tires. Make sure the side walls of my tires have no abrasions, bulges, cuts, properly mounted and secured, with no audible leaks. The tops of my tires, make sure they have no abrasions, bulges, cuts, properly mounted and secured, Worn evenly with a minimum of two thirty seconds of an inch tread depth. These can be recapped. Then I have my dual rims. Make sure they're sitting flush against each other because these don't have bud spaces. And make sure they're not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secured. I also want to make sure that there's no debris of dead animals inside of my dual rims. Come out and get my outer rim. Make sure my outer rim has no illegal wells, no rust trails, not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secured. Then I have my lug nuts. Make sure my lug nuts have no metal shavings, no shiny threads, not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured, all tight and all present. They have my axle nuts, no metal shaving, no shiny thread, not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured, make sure that they're all present. Then I have an axle C, I wanna make sure that it has no visible leaks. Valve stem and cap, make sure it's not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured, um, with no audible leaks. This is where I would check, use a tire pressure gauge, make sure that my tires aired up properly. Then from there, I'm gonna go to the back. Got the rear marker light. My rear tailgate. Make sure my tailgate is not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. And it has to have 100% DOT reflective tape. I have safety chains. Make sure that they're not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. My latches. Make sure that they're secured, not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. Then in the back, I have my brake lights, tail lights, blinker lights. Make sure they're not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured, clean and free of debris and moisture. My mud flaps to rubber items, so make sure it has no abrasions, bulges, cuts, properly mounted and secured, and no more than eight inches from the surface. Got my rear license plate, make sure it's visible. Not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured, and it has to have a white light. 
go around and finish up. My battery box. Make sure my battery box has not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured. I'm gonna check the batteries inside, make sure I have no corrosion around the terminals and no frayed wires. And lastly, my exhaust. I wanna make sure it's not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secured and doesn't have any leaks. How would I know it would have leaks? It would have soot along the piping. The only place soot should be present is at the tip of the pipe. 